Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Friday, October 21st, 2022. And we begin with a power vacuum in Great Britain and politicians there scrambling to fill it. Prime Minister Liz Truss up and quit yesterday after only 45 days on the job, making her time in office the shortest in UK history. Ms. Truss's inability to get a handle on the country's economy pretty much doomed her, as did a few high-profile U-turns and flip-flops on policy. Parliament is expected to choose a new leader within days, with an old name surfacing as a possibility, the nation's former prime minister, Boris Johnson. Even though Ms. Truss vowed she'd stay in power up until two days ago, the British tabloids thought otherwise. One newspaper, the Daily Star, was tracking whether she'd last as long as a head of lettuce. Apparently, the lettuce won. Massachusetts is getting an official state dinosaur. This week, Governor Charlie Baker signed legislation giving the honor to Podicosaurus holiocensis, or swift-footed lizard of Holyoke. The dino, which weighed about 90 pounds and could run 9 to 12 miles an hour, was the top vote-getter in a social media campaign started by State Representative Jack Lewis. Mr. Lewis also happened to be a Cub Scout leader who, at the start of the pandemic, was looking to inspire his Zoom-weary troop of 8-year-olds. Around 35,000 votes were cast in the contest, with the mid-Jurassic era Podicosaurus coming out on top. At the signing ceremony at Boston's Museum of Science during the state's STEM week, the governor credited the wonder of prehistoric dinosaurs for kickstarting his own love of science as a kid. What prized possession would you pack for a trip to space? On Wednesday, in a video interview with the Associated Press, astronaut Nicole Mann showed off the dream catcher she brought along on her journey to the International Space Station. A gift from her mom when she was a child, the webbed loop decorated with feathers and beads is traditionally used as protection in some Native American cultures. Ms. Mann, the first Native American woman in space, blasted off on her five-month mission a few weeks ago. So far, the former Marine combat pilot says she's overwhelmed by Earth's delicacy and beauty. As a mom of a 10-year-old, she also directed a message to any kids who might be listening. Study hard, follow your dreams, and keep a positive attitude. Holy guacamole, it's Avageddon in Philadelphia. For the past few days, thousands of people have been lining up at a city park to get their share of free avocados. Faced with more fruit than they can use, the nonprofit foundation, Sharing Excess, arranged the giveaway to prevent good food from going to waste. The overabundance is reportedly due to a bumper crop in Australia and supply chain issues in South America. Anyone with a taste for the chip dip knows avocados aren't cheap, but the organizers have been blown away by the massive turnout so far. The giveaway at FDR Park continues today at 6 p.m. or while supplies last. For Daniel Mancina, being blind is no barrier to Guinness fame. The Michigan man just set a world record for the longest 50-50 grind on a skateboard. The distance, 22 feet, 5 inches. Daniel took up the sport when he was 13, the same year that he was diagnosed with a disease that would completely take his sight just a few years later. Daniel works up to doing the tricks, using a white cane to check distances and scan for obstacles. Next, he plans to break the record he just set, build a fully adaptive skate park for the visually challenged, and get skateboarding added to the 2028 Paralympics. Before we get to our Kid News Quiz, we want to say a special hello to Susie and Mara's 4th and 5th graders at the Birch's School in Lincoln, Massachusetts, who wrote in to let us know that the garden snake, like the one that snuck onto a United flight from Tampa to Newark on Monday, is also known as a garter snake. They listen every morning, take notes on each story, and even assign one student per week to the coveted position of fact finder to come up with a good question that's not in the quiz. That is music to our ears. The future of journalism certainly shines bright in the Birch's School. Now, today's quiz. How many days did Liz Truss serve as the UK's Prime Minister? Four. 
45, a new low for the UK. Astronaut Nicole Mann brought what special gift from her mom into space? A dream catcher. What's the name of the great avocado giveaway? Avogeddon. How fast do dinosaur experts believe the Podocosaurus could run? Nine to twelve miles an hour. In our Kid News Kicker, according to the Atlas Obscura, the Podocosaurus holiocensis is one of only two dinosaurs known to have roamed the Commonwealth of Massachusetts nearly 200 million years ago. The other was the Anchisaurus polyzelus. The three to six foot long Podocosaurus was discovered in 1910 by college professor Mignon Talbot, who is known to be the first woman to find, discover, name, and describe a dinosaur. And if you're wondering how many other states have their own official dinosaur, the answer is about a dozen. Before we go, we want to shout out our terrific Kid News teachers, starting with Mrs. Saylor and her rockets at Spring Grove Area Intermediate School in Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. Miss Tuttle and her bees at Cabot Academy in Western Bay, Newfoundland, Canada. Mr. Silva and his wildcats at Hanover Countryside School in Streamwood, Illinois. To Texas for Mrs. Pope and her stallions at Stipes Elementary in Irving. And Miss Rojas and her armadillos at Moore Elementary in Houston. Thanks for listening. Our Week in Review quiz is up on our website. And for those who signed up, our weekly word search is in your emails. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here for more Kid News Monday morning.